This is Troy Hawk and this video will show you how to create a image slider using Easy Rotator. First you will have to download the program and you can find the information on downloading and installing the program at the uh, below on the uh, YouTube instructions. So uh, when you want to uh, download the program just look at the uh, instructions that are posted uh, below uh, the YouTube uh, video. Once you have the program downloaded and installed, you open up the program and you'll see a menu something like what you see here. Initializing Wizard, uh, you can create a standalone or uh, using other programs such as uh, Dreamweaver, you can uh, actually use it inside of Dreamweaver. But we're going to use standalone today. To get started, you must have created an existing HTML file. So basically what you can do is you can create an uh, HTML file and save it in a folder that you're going to use specifically for uh, creating this image slider or image rotator. For example, you only need to create HTML code with the basic uh, structure for a web page and without putting anything into the body tags. Once you have created the folder and placed the HTML file inside of the folder that you plan to use for uh, creating the uh, image slider, you can select that page by going through the option here of HTML page that you're going to use. Click on the browse and then find the page that you want to uh, use. I place mine on the desktop so you know, I can go and search for it here. I created a file called Rotator, a folder called Rotator Slider Tutorial and inside of there is where I placed the HTML file that you just saw uh, and I've called that Image Rotator Slider Tutorial and I've also placed another folder inside with the images that I'm going to inside of uh, the uh, rotator slider tutorial uh, that has the images that I'm going to use for this tutorial. So I select the HTML file and also I need to select the folder that contains the HTML file, HTML file for the site root folder. So we click on browse, select the folder and click OK and then we're ready to start click continue and then you have options to either insert a new rotator or use an existing rotator so I'm going to select a new insert a new one you give the rotator a name in my case I I'm calling my image slider rotator for this tutorial and then you go on to select a width and a height um, you want to select that a width and a height that are very close to what the size of your images are. So the, the images that I created is um, the size that we see selected here, 657 by uh, 250. So whatever the size of your images are, you want to select or change this accordingly. And uh, one thing you want to keep in mind is that all of your images should be the same size in order for your image slider to look well or to look right uh, when it's being displayed and the better the, the more you uh, make your images the size of your the size of the rotator itself then you have a better view when the images are inside of the slider then we want to click continue and we come to this place where now we can start to select the photos or the images that we want to use for uh, your slider. To select the images that you want to use for the, for the uh, image slider, you can click on Add Photos down at the bottom here. And um, you know, once you click on that, it gives you options to either add a video or add a photo. But of course, um, we want to add a photo because uh, adding a video is another option that um, you will uh, have to uh, to pay for. Um, but click on Add Photos, and then we go and search for the photos that we want. 
to use. As I mentioned, I have already created the photos and placed them inside of a folder that's uh, in the same folder that the HTML file that I will be using for uh, this tutorial. So um, I click on that folder, select OK, and then we see I have three images or three uh, pictures or so that we are going to use here. I'm going to select all of them uh, because these three are what I'm going to use and they're all the same size. Click on Add Photos. So the three images have been added. You can give the images titles if you want. So uh, for example, I have named this image here image one so you just type that information in. You can also add a link to the uh, image. So for example if um, you want the website visitor to click on that particular image and be able to go to a page you can do that by adding it down in this area here. Um, as you can see I have this image that's going to be going to webdevelopmentclass.net if a website visitor clicks on it. You can do the same thing for all of your images by just typing in the appropriate places here. Now we can go to the area where it says layout presentations and it brings you to an area where you can select the type of image rotator that you want to use. So there's various types here. You know, if you were to scroll down, you would see the, the many types that are available um, for free. There's also some paid versions available, but um, I'm going to select this first one here. And uh, this will be the rotator that I'm going to use here. Uh, you can select the background color but I'm just going to use the transparent background for this tutorial. You can uh, play around with that. You can also scale your images so you can scale it to fully fill the area or uh, all of the options that you see in the drop down box here but since I have made my images the same size as the rotator my images will fit uh, very well there and I won't have to do any other scaling. So I click on cancel and then I move on to the next thing which will be to general settings. In general settings you have various options. One is to randomize how your images are displayed. Uh, I don't want that option. Then you have uh, other options such as whether you want the images to autoplay, that means go from one to the next uh, continuously, and autoplay delay, so how long it takes for the slide to move to the next slide. Uh, right now, it's set as five seconds, so I'm going to change this to four seconds. Auto pause play, so that's another option that you can check into if you want to use it. Uh, play auto. Uh, pause autoplay on hover, uh, meaning that if someone hovers over a particular image, uh, it will stop at that image so that the website visitor can see it. Loop at the end, well I don't want mine to loop, I, uh, well I'll keep it as looping so that way it continues as it goes to the last slide it will loop again. And um, you know, there are some other options that you may want to take a look at as well. But that's all that I would want to set for this pre uh, for this tutorial. So now I'm going to do a preview. The preview shows how the image slider will progress. After you completed all of your options for settings and layout and uh, added your links that you wanted. You can click save and exit and then you'll see important information box pop up and what it's just telling you is that the rotator code or the image slider code has been added to the HTML in between the body tags. So when we go to the code 
and look through the code you'll see that, that right after the body tag we have all of the uh, content for the image slider here and um, and that is the only thing that we had in this file remember so because uh, initially we just set the basic structure of an HTML file so that we can add this information you see that the body tag ends here so all of this code that's inside is uh, for the easy rotator and when you're ready to transfer it over to a location where you want to actually put the image slider you'll be copying the code from uh, here from where it says begin DW uh, user ro easy rotator all the way down to uh, just the end of the body tag where uh, we see the end of the easy rotator there so you will need to determine where this image slider is going to go on your web page and on your websites and again just copy the code and, and transfer it over now we can take a look at what we've just created in action in a real browser so uh, here uh, using Internet Explorer we can see the image uh, slider changing to the different images and remember I had three images and they're moving through these images and remember that I did put a link on image one so when we hover over it we selected that we wanted this uh, the images to stop scrolling um, if I click on the image at that point because I put the link in it goes directly to the web page for webdevelopment.net so we'll go back here and again we'll see the in, the uh, image slider in action so that is how you go about creating an image slider with easy rotator